Okay, so what we're going to do is go through using the brush tool. We're going to add a couple points also to it um, as we go. Now, when you open it up, um, it will show the background. Uh, so let's go through this quickly. Hold on. New, I have mine set up. When it goes to the background, I will click on it. I'm just going to name it background again. And what that does is takes the lock off of it. Okay. So once you do that, then you can take your paint or your bucket. Um, let's see where my bug, my bucket's in a little bit. My paint bucket, choose whatever color you want. And then you're coloring the background. And then here's where you can make your layers uh, on top and keep naming them. So I have my background here already done. All right. So I did the background. All right. So now with the background, um, I'm going to put some clouds in. And that's where you use your brush tool. You can change your size, your hardness. Um, let me do another layer just to, to show you real quick here. So I locked up my other layers. You just use a lock button up here. Um, so I'm just going to use, let's go with white. I have my colors over here also. Uh, I'm going to go white. Now it goes on the background, the white. So I'm going to bring it to the front. Um, paintbrush. Change the size up. Hardness. This could be really hard. Um, go Command Z. I'm going to make it really soft. And then I can also do my opacity, which goes to more transparent. So that's a lot of what I did there. But um, that was a big one that I moved. So anyways, so that's what you can do. And you can go with your brush to change uh, the shape of it, what it looks like. Uh, mine's really messed up right now. Um, I have to go through and change mine a lot. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's not even moving. Yeah, it's not going through it. I'd have to go through and change what the brush uh, looks like. Um, it's a little too flat right now, so. And I don't know if I have a, uh, I have this guy. See if that guy works. No, he's still way wide. So the way I have the brush is just messed up right now. So I'd have to go back and change it. Anyways, so once you do your um do your paintbrush, um, and you can do some shapes in that. Um, I can also uh copy this. So I'm gonna take the eye off this. I'm going to right click, duplicate, hit OK, and I have two copies of it. So now I can use my move tool and move it around so I can have more, uh, more layers. And I can also erase ones if I want. So if, I, if I'm down here and I don't like this one behind, I'm gonna use the eraser. I can go up to 100%, uh, same idea as the brushes. I'm just gonna erase this part, okay. And I can move it over again. And this is a good way not to do brushes, uh, to use a brush. So once you do one you like, you can repeat without actually uh, wasting any time and moving. Um, I can also reflect this one, edit, transform. I can uh, flip horizontally so it looks different. So now how's that? And then same idea. I can still erase and get certain parts off that I don't want. Just to make it look like different cloud. So instead of once again going through the brush, um, I can go through different parts. I actually could in the future animate this, but I'm not going to worry about it now. So I could do that. So, but if you don't want it also, same idea, I can just delete it. So there's using the, you know, we have the free transform. I'll show you parts of this. And um, then I do another layer in front. And what I did was, let's keep, we'll keep this layer up. Um, using a brush, did a couple brushes on it. Um, then you can go with, and I did some little details here with my fine lines, but you can go with your smudge tool. Uh, let's see there. Oh, where's my smudge? It's on my paint bucket. There's my smudge. And on my smudge I can do, and I need to go on it, I need to unlock it, okay? And don't sample all layers. Just sample uh, no layers, so you'll be on the layer you're doing. I can go to 49%, a little big. So what I can do here is kind of move things around a little bit. 
what smudge does just moves around. So what I want you guys to do is to do two layers of design uh, with the brush. Um, I want you to um, also get used to putting ones together. So get used to also if you want to uh, combine layers, do one layer and, uh, you know, duplicate it and add on there like I did with the clouds, but you don't have to do clouds. I just want two layers. Start thinking about your backgrounds, what you want to do um, when it comes to the background stuff. So even though you're learning uh, this process, you're also at the same time should be um, going through what you think will work and what won't because obviously this is what we're going for is the, uh, um, uh, for your actual background with your scene. All right, and that is it. Uh, that is your brush and then save that as whatever one you like. All right. Good luck.